Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Heather Moore, owner of Total Performance Physical Therapy. We're gonna talk about severe pain behind your knee. So we're gonna kind of look at this from two different angles. So you can have severe pain behind your kneecap, and then you can have severe pain in the back of your knee. Either one you want to make sure that you address. Um, severe pain behind the kneecap, so this little movable bone in the front, it usually happens when you're bending your knee. A lot of times what that means is there is a wearing away of the surface on the back of your knee and it's actually starting to bang into the bones behind it. So it can be very painful when you start to bend your knee. Um, it also could be a tracking issue um, as you bend and straighten your knee. That patella moves in and out of these little grooves and if muscles are not working together correctly, one's stronger, one's weaker, it can actually cause that patella to move in and out of the groove. So it can cause severe pain. And it's something you really do wanna pay attention to um, because it can only get worse. And as a matter of fact, if your tracking is off, it can actually cause the surface of that patella to wear away a lot quicker on the back of that kneecap. Um, let's talk about pain in the back of the knee. So this is back in here. So that can be coming from a number of different uh, sources. And it's something you do want to get checked out because of the a uh, bunch of places it could be coming from. First of all, it could be coming from your back, um, depending on the type of pain, depending on um, a dump, bunch of different factors. You could actually have a nerve issue that's coming from a disc all the way from the back into the back of your knee. So that's obviously something you don't wanna ignore. Ice is not gonna fix that. Heat's not gonna fix that. Rest is not gonna fix that. You wanna get that identified to make sure that if there's a pain in the back of that knee, it's not coming from your low back, a disc issue, something that could progressively get worse and even go down into your foot. It could also come from an irritation of a cyst. Um, there's a natural cyst back there, um, but you can enlarge it a little little bit if it gets irritated for whatever reason. Um, it can be painful, it can be difficult to bend your knee, very difficult to straighten your knee, eventually causing problems with walking and standing. So it is something that does need to be treated. It can go back to normal. Um, it's not something that you know you have to worry about unless you ignore it for a very long time, then you may have to address it um, with a little bit more aggressive methods. So it's one of those things that once you kind of feel that pain in the back of the knee, again, you do get that address. It could be calf or hamstring issues. So your gastrox, your cat, your hamstrings all come in and are um, attaching right in that back of the knee. So if you have tight hamstrings, if you have a tight calf, that could also be a reason. Um, it's usually not the most likely reason. So don't, uh, don't just chalk it up and say, I can just stretch and be done with it you really do want to investigate why you're getting this pain in the back of your knee because there is difficulty, there is severe issues that can be going on that can be disguised as, oh, I'll just stretch it. And stretching actually can make it worse. So, you know, it could be a tendonitis, which again is, it can be fixed. A lot of everything that's going on in the back of the knee can be fixed if you get it treated in time um, with minimal work, with minimal, with no invasion, anything like that. So. It's not something you want to ignore because it can be an indication that something more severe is about to happen. Um, and there could also be a bursitis. Um, there could also be a tendonitis. There's a bunch of different things that could be causing that severe pain. Um, but anytime you're talking about pain behind the knee, and sometimes I know, especially in the knee, in the back of the knee and on the side of the knee, the pain can come and go. And it's like, oh, well, today it doesn't hurt. It will come a time where that pain does not go away and it will stop you in your tracks. And then you won't have a, um, the ability to decide whether you are or are not going to address it. You're going to be forced to address it. And that's usually when it takes more time, more money, um, and it really gets a little bit more intensive for you. Whereas if when the pain was coming and going, um, you know, and you ignored it and you didn't do anything about it except a little stretching, um, when you should have been addressing it and finding the root cause of it, um, you know, waiting and putting it off until it becomes a problem that you can't um, ignore is, is definitely something that you do want to avoid. Um, if you or someone you know is suffering with pain in the back of the knee and wants a free consultation with a doctor of physical therapy, all you have to do is call our office at 215-997-9898 and we'd be happy to get you in. Thanks.